Hey, Chris Day here. One thing that I don't, that I forgot to mention. Um, so my company is, is called Resemblage Assemblage because this is my very first piece of art of Resemblage Assemblage. I have Assemblage art that I made. And so the reason I made this is because I saw Sandra Scow's art and I loved it and went to her house and I saw this kind of stuff at her house, like these, this background stuff and all this other stuff. Um, so the background. I didn't intend to make assemblage art when I went to visit Sandra. I intended to just go see it again because I fell in love with it. It was so amazing. And, <clears throat> And, but by the time I left her house and I saw some of the stuff that she used, some of like this stuff, then I thought, wow, my dad has that stuff. I'm going to go get it and I'm going to make something. So I immediately went to a secondhand store, which was Desert Industries, in Pocatello. That's where she lives. And, and I, I just bought stuff. And then I came home and I, I made this. And... It didn't look like this. There are pictures of it that that I intended to make it look like an organ. So I need to get my portfolio. Okay, this portfolio. And hopefully the picture is one of the first ones, but it's not. <laughs> in alphabetical order. That was so smart of me. This is what it this is what it used to look like. This was my this this when I when I made this it inspired me to keep making art because I loved how it looked and I I I left it I left it natural because I love natural wood and it looked great like this so um I wanted to look like an organ I put these kinds of things on top and that's what this is what I made my instruments with musical trio yeah the musical trio i used a lot of these i i took a yeah i oh. took a hacksaw and i just cut off all the pieces that you know cut them in pieces um but this is what they looked like so they were just sitting up here and th these are not the actual pieces well they kind of are yeah they probably are this one is like so they were sitting up like this oh, boy. and my son had this at his house and he had no room, he just lived in a small apartment. So I ended up getting this one back too. It's one of those, what do you call it? Rebound kids, <laughs> what's it called? Rebound art? Yeah, it's rebound art instead of children. Just, so this one I made in probably, I met Sandra Scow in 2006. So I probably made this in 2006, so that was 12 years ago. So it was hanging in, in our home, in our old home, just a half a mile from here uh, for years. And then when I was moving, then Carl took this and he's had it ever since. That was five, almost five years ago. And then he said, we don't have room, so I brought it home from Seattle. So it basically still looks like that, like like this. And these are the pieces I took off. Right here, yeah. They went like this. I cut them, because I was gonna use them on something else. So they were up this side. And I love that color with that, it looks really pretty and then this is 
a piece that went right here. Something like that. So I just, I had this box and this is the, like the sound box of the organ. And instead of just having a, this, you know, basic box, I put these other things to, on the edges. And these all came from one organ. These all came from the organ that my dad took apart. He took away apart two organs trying to figure out how to fix them. And he couldn't because it's impossible. I've already talked about that. You can't fix an organ unless you are an expert. Anyway, I took the soundboard and I cut it in different sections so that because all of the reeds you know, would be along the same line, like those reeds <laughs> up there. And I just turned it around so that it wasn't all in one line, so it would look different. And it used to have red behind it. It had that red felt behind it so that it looked nice. And so all of these, probably, this whole organ probably is probably well over a hundred years old and the organ restoration people would probably shoot me because they restore organs they don't disassemble them and assemble them again but I called this one disorganized I thought that was very clever <laughs> um, this is the voice box down here these are I I found the most intricate and best crafted pieces of wood in this particular organ so that inside everything was well crafted it wasn't just a bunch of junky wood that did the same thing but like this little I don't know what it is these are the ends of the stops but it's it's a little billows that also pumped air Maybe, maybe through this voice box, I don't know. Um, and all these other pieces, I used to know the names. When I first started working with pieces of organ, I bought a book that described what all these pieces were and what their function was and the name of them, and I used to know it, but that was, let's see, 2006. 12 years ago. Yeah. And this box, this was a box that went right here. And I, I cut it apart because it had all these really cool things inside of it. This is the front. And this is where all the stops, I had a bunch of stops in here like this. So that it looked like an organ. Image? Yeah, in oh, the, okay. yeah. Where is it? Right here. Oh, on the top. They were on the top. Oh, the stops were on the box? top, but this box is on the bottom and doesn't have the stops in it. So I was wrong. It was like this was on top up here. Something like that. So the stops were on the top part. And this was just a cool box. Looked like this. Probably what it looked like right there. Upside down, uh, like that. Yeah, so it was a, I don't know, about four by four by 16. So that was down here on the bottom. Yeah, this was in the front like that. And then all these were behind it. And I just sliced them with my table saw because I'm gonna use these in other places like isn't that cool isn't that a great shape mm -hmm. yeah so there's that and that and that and then this this box too I didn't find anything like any of this in any of these other organs that I uh, took apart oh so this is just unique pieces yeah these are very these are these are unique and probably much more valuable but not anymore. 
Oh, and this, this is actually ebony and ivory. And the later ones were just made out of plastic, white plastic and black plastic. And they were hollow. And these are solid ebony. And this is ivory, which probably came from an elephant. They had to kill an elephant. Were those in it? Oh, no. no. These, I just thought I'd try to be artistic. Oh, it looks cool. I just... <laughs> I saw something like that. I copied Sandra's gal. <laughs> I thought, okay, I'll do that. That sounds, that looks pretty cool. The best form of flattery is what? Um, copying them, what? Yeah, totally. Um, and these right here, these are seeds of some kind that my dad had. I had this bottle of seeds and I have no idea what kind of seeds they were. So I just stuck them on these pins so so this wire didn't come off this copper wire i love copper so what i'm going to do with this now is um remodel it how many things have i remodeled i remodeled this ship over here and i remodeled kathleen's ship and so this is my like my third remodel. I I wanted to use it. I wanted to make it into a steampunk kind of a thing. So that's what it's going to be eventually when I get my other projects done. And I guess that's all. Can't think of anything else I want to say about it. But it 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 started me out doing resemblage assemblage so it's it's precious to me and sometimes i wish it wasn't <laughs> so anyway ciao